and what about uh, strong influences you, you, that have you know helped either your training philosophies? You've mentioned a few different programs in sort of the Australian way with with running, but who are some strong influences of yeah, your running development and how you sort of go about your programming today when you're working with athletes? Yeah, probably um, on different in different levels or different areas. There's different people. I think just from a general inspiration point of view, uh, I don't know if you've heard of the US runner Steve Prefontaine. He died in sort of the, the early half of the 1970s. He's got a couple of great documentaries, Fire on the Track and Without Limits, for anyone who's interested or might know the name. And he was, he was as well known for his, uh, he had a quote that said, you might be able to beat me, but you're going to have to bleed to do it. And I think yeah. as a young guy, I, I really admired that kind of approach. I, I love the idea of a bloke who's just going to, he was a bit of a big mouth and he was happy to lay it on the line, but he also backed it up. He was just an incredible athlete. For the athletes listening in, that may have that sort of approach at the moment where they haven't had access to a coach perhaps, but what would be some common mistakes that you see with running technique with, I guess, non running specific uh, athletes like soccer yeah, and, I think, and uh, football? Yeah. They're, they're pretty similar to the world of distance running in a sense. And um, you know, to break it down and obviously this is to throw a massive big blanket over what's a quite an individualized sport is mm -hmm. I'm really interested in the way that different athletes store tension um, and you see this a lot when you when you get into the latter parts of a game or you get into the latter parts of a race. Someone might be a smooth mover when they're jogging, but when they're under pressure or when there's some stress around them or when they're in the middle of a pack or, um, you know, when the pressure's on in the latter part of a game, it might be close and you've been given the ball or you've been given the opportunity to make the most of it. One of the first things you do uh, with someone who's not aware of it is you'll store tension. You'll see that a lot of the time it's through your jaw, through your face. You'll see it through the shoulders. A lot of that classic you know, uh, shoulders up here, um, you'll see it through the fists. Like a lot of the time our, our hands are, are squeezed like this. For those perhaps coming into uh, an event that is endurance-based that they're nervous for, whether it be footballers doing the 2K or yo-yo test, like at, from a mental point of view, how do you go about um, sort of getting in the zone, if you call it, you know, and, and to be able to obviously perform really well that day. So how how much it how you sort of do you have a process from a mental point of view and, and to get relaxed and be in that mindset, um, you know, to perform at your best physically. Yeah. I, I personally, I, I reckon if I look back and, and I'm honest, that's one area of my life. I probably could have put a little bit more effort into. I always look back and think, all right, the strength and conditioning side of my training could have been done more effectively. And I think the mental side of it, like I was, I was very aware and I was very interested in mindset, but I, I don't think I quite realized just the stress that's alleviated when you have a, a pretty standard warm up routine. I, I did to a degree, mm. um, but I think it, it fluctuated quite a lot. So mine was about an hour before a race. I'd chuck some headphones in. I'd go for a fifteen minute jog. I'd come back, just do a few stretches. Once I'd done a few stretches, I'd just do some gradual, um, sort of prog progressively faster strides. So probably hundred meters, maybe four of those. My training programs are three phased or three tiered. So so the phase that we're in right now um is is phase one it's relatively easy most of the players look at it and they're like mate what have i paid for like this is a really easy training program i'm barely breathing i don't feel like my fitness is improving and then i start getting a couple of sorry messages in stage two where they go actually i should have enjoyed stage one a little bit more uh <laughs> i didn't realize how good i had it um and then stage three is it's really difficult it's a um you know a lot of the over this course of these three phases we're increasing the speed we're decreasing the recovery um, and I think just how, uh, giving an athlete or giving a player the understanding of why you're doing that. So the, to use the example of a community-based based player, you go, all right, well, we're building an aerobic base for you here in October. And then mm -hmm. upon that or uh, you know, above that, we're going to start adding in a little bit more speed, a little bit less recovery. What about from a, if you had to pick one distance, for, for mm -hmm. let's say for repeat speed, like you mentioned how important that is for footy, what would be your favourite? You mentioned the 150s in the, chart running what would be your favorite distance if you could only do a those three tiers and you could only do it off one set distance what would be your sort of oh, I would, yeah i would say i would say 150 oh and i could i could interchange that with 200 like that distance yeah. um and the reason the reason that's the distance for me is it's far enough to get your breathing and it's far enough to feel the impacts of um but it's also far enough to or short enough that you can run at a pretty high speed yeah. whereas you know, 50 meters, you just start getting the legs rolling a little bit. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, it was, you know, you do 15 times 50 meters. I, I guess it wasn't the most intense session, unless you're sprinting with very little rest. I just yep. like the, uh, um, just how well that 150 meter kind of fitness correlates to a, to a game of footy. 
and especially if you're trying to attack or improve that speed endurance which i was i was talking about earlier 